If you're setting up Google Meet for the first time, it could be to catch up with friends, maybe organize a business meeting, or just do some uh, teamwork. Then all you need is a Google account. So if you already have created a Google account in the vlog team, then you it will be very easy. If you haven't, there is a video that takes you through how to create a Google account that is going to be uh, shared in the description or a link above. So if you have a Google account, like in this case, then you just have to tap on the profile icon usually if you have your photo that's why it appears so you can tap this and um, optionally you can go to the dotted points and then you look for Google Meet which is one of the applications listed here so go to Google Meet then uh, the Google Meet will load now once you're in this section you can create a new meeting simple as that click on new meeting then you're going to decide do you want to create this meeting for later let's say you are pre-planning for a meeting uh, do you want to create an instant meeting or do you want to schedule this in a calendar we're going to look at all the three options so if I want to create a meeting for later I just tap uh, here and then I have the link now this link can be shared anywhere I can share it via uh, all the social channels I can share it via whatsapp via facebook now the only requirement that is needed here is that whoever you're sharing this link with must have a google account to be able to attend this meeting because it all happens through google so that's for an uh, instant if i want to um i mean for later if i want to create an instant meeting if i tap on instant then the screen will automatically load and i'll have a meeting started so in this case i still have a link that i can share with participants via email or any other form means that i, I like to uh, use so this usually depends on your network sometimes it takes a bit longer to load now in an instant meeting there are certain things that you can set up that we are going to look at as soon as this page loads and we can uh, complete the setup. Now here you see we have add others so I can add them by adding their email addresses here and sending them an invite for instance or I can also copy this I can also copy the link and share with them so let's say I want to add others here so I have a place where I can enter their emails and send them um, invites for instance let me just pick a random email here let me just take this and then now send email now this will send an invite to uh, anyone that I have selected to participate in this uh, meeting so once I have chosen the people would like to be in the meeting I can always uh, do a, a, a few uh, setups so if I click on this for instance I have options I can change the layout I can have full screen I can use a whiteboard I can do a lot of other things here then as the admin I have a bit of a control if I have users in this meeting I can either opt to mute them all or give them ability to share screens or allow them to uh, speak on this section I have uh, the part where uh, all the participants are listed if I right now I'm the only one in the meeting so it's only one person being displayed here if there were more then I would see the number here um, would also be able to open and maybe uh, choose what I would like to do with the the participants in this case so i'll close that there is the message section where you see the messages in the chat if someone sends a message it appears in that uh, section then uh, you have activities there be uh, things that are happening within the meeting so this is something you can explore as you go you want to add an activity you have that you'll brought to the page where you can select whatever it is you want to add to the session so that's taking too long to load and it's not uh, interesting so you can explore that later the other thing is uh, on this here we have what the host can do the host of the meeting so this are some of the setups that I was talking about before you can decide who shares the screen who sends messages who sends reaction you can turn on and off um, uh, the mi microphones and their videos so that you don't have sometime you may have people like showing random videos you may disable that so you have to first turn on host management so you can now uh, be able to deal with this or turn this on and off now that's when you have um you have created an instant meeting so let's just go back to the google meet home page and uh look at how you can do this scheduling with you in your calendar for instance so we're just going to click on new meeting as we did before and this will take us to schedule in Google Calendar. So Google Calendar is one of the applications that they, that Google provides once you have a Gmail or a Google account. 
So it will take you to your calendar and then you can decide some of the setup, some of the things you intend to uh, set for your meeting that you're scheduling and uh, maybe send reminders to the people who are going to use. So from the top, you can add a title. You can just say maybe test meeting, for instance. And um, you're setting up a notification. So you can either take, does it repeat, does it remind you? You have the dates here. Choose when you want your meeting to be. You can decide the time zone. Uh, this, might, this might be different if you're hosting a global meeting, but you are to decide. And then um, you have uh, join with meet, and then you can also include guests on the left-hand side here. So if I add it, for instance, uh, let me say add this person here. Then you have uh, what you can decide if guests, the guests can modify the event, can invite others, or see the guest list. So that's what you as an admin has. There are a few other setups that you can make here, the notifications, the locations, and a short description to maybe let your participants know what this meeting is entirely about prior to the date that you've set up here. So if I've done this and um, then I go and save this here, I'll be asked if I want to send an inv invitation email to the calendar guest because I've added a guest here. If so, then I'll just say send. If I don't want to send, I'll just say don't send or go back to editing if there is maybe a feature that I forgot to add. So if I send this, the, an email with the details of this meeting will be sent to all the people I've included in the guest list. If I have a description, it will be sent to them the date and the time. And maybe in my description, I can spare, I can uh, specify the time zone so that I avoid confusion or people are uh, getting or late or missing the uh, meeting. So that's what happens when you want to send uh, or create a meeting and schedule it on Google Calendar. If you're struggling with screen recording, there's a video we have on how to use Loom to record your screen. You can find it in the description above or in the description or in the pop-up above. If you like this content, don't forget to uh, like, give it a thumb up, share, and subscribe for similar videos in the future.